Hi, my name is Matt Eason. I'm a personal injury attorney here in Sacramento. And in this video, I want to discuss a little bit about making a claim for your personal injuries against your own insurance company. We're regularly asked, can you make a claim against your own insurance company for your personal injuries sustained in a car accident? If the accident was your fault and you suffered injuries, generally speaking, you have no right to make a claim against your insurance company, or rather your car insurance company, or the other side's car insurance company. Insurance policies only deal with the other driver was at fault or at least partially at fault. Of course, your health insurance should apply regardless. If the other driver was at fault, then theoretically and appropriately, the other driver's insurance company is the one that's responsible for the claim. However, California law has what's known as an uninsured motorist provision in all policies by default. And what that provision basically says is that if you are in an accident that's someone else's fault and they don't have legal insurance or the lawful insurance that's required in California, then your uninsured motorist provision will apply. And you can, in fact, make a claim against your insurance company under the uninsured motorist provision. It is important to note, however, that the uninsured provision can be waived by law. However, the waiver has to be very clear and very specific. So if you bought cheap insurance and you waived uninsured motorist provision, you may not have that same coverage. In addition to uninsured motorists, a lot of insurance policies in California also have what's known as underinsured motorist provision. And what that effectively means is that if your policy is larger than the other side's policy, and the other side's policy is not sufficient to pay all your claim, then your underinsured provision would pay your claim. For example, if the other driver had what's known as a $15,000 policy, the minimum under California law, and your injuries were $25,000 in value, well, the other policy only has $15,000. That's all they're obligated to pay. If you had bought an underinsured motorist provision that provided a $25,000 or a $50,000 limit or a $100,000 limit, your insurance company would pay up to the value of your case, not to exceed your policy limits for that claim. Of course, your insurance company gets a credit for whatever you receive from the other party. So by way of illustration, if your claim is worth $25,000, you've got a $50,000 uninsured provision, the other driver has $15,000 policy, then the first $15,000 would come from the other driver, the next 10 would come from yours. Some policies besides the uninsured and underinsured provisions also do have a medical payment provision. And the medical payment provision is usually limited to $1,000 or $5,000, but it can occasionally kick in and provide for medical care and treatment for you or your passengers if you're in an accident. That medical payment provision is important to use if it's available for you. If you've got questions about making an insurance claim against your insurance company or another insurance company and you'd like a free consultation, I hope you consider reaching out to us. My name again is Matt Eason. I'm with the law firm of Eason and Tamarini here in Sacramento, California. My phone number is 916-438-1819 and you can reach us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com or otherwise stop by at 12348th Street, Sacramento, California, 95814.